Gemini, welcome to the summarized version of your 2020 annual reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. And this is quite an interesting spread. I've noticed a lot of tens in it, um, which, you know, and it indicate endings along with, you know, you're closing out this year with the world card, which is again, another card about ending something. And there's also a lot of fives in this spread um, where there's some tension and conflict about bringing things to closure, I think, having to do with getting growth and expansion and partnerships, because I also saw a lot of twos and threes in this, this reading. I did, by the way, put this in reverse for you guys, okay? Um, this is, you know, an ending, I think, that's going to come up uh, during, yeah, this is August, okay. Um, some kind of ending where somebody is being removed from your life. You might be kicking them out of a house, okay. I saw some stuff about that. <laughs> or, ki or kicking somebody to the curb, however it is. Um, but, yeah, it did, honestly, it showed up like this, but I'm putting it in reverse, which means, you know, you're healing. And on Vimeo, I said a bit of a prayer for you to, like, get, get the healing in the situation, okay? And, yes, you know, I have to remind you that there's free will here, right? Uh, I've got to put this general message out to all of you that, you know, most of you know this, but let's just say it for those who don't. It's a general reading, okay? So... Some of these messages may or may not apply. You need to take it with a grain of salt because it's not a private reading. If you want a private reading and you want to know specifically what's going on with your astrology specific to your natal chart, right? Right down to the birth time and location that is as unique as your fingerprint, then, you know, you can reach out and contact me for that. I do those readings, okay? 12-month love and financial, you know, forecasts, okay? Um, that's how you get it that specific. But since this is a general reading going out to thousands of thousands of people, you have to take what applies and discard the rest. And also never underestimate the power of free will. And I see there's a lot of it here. I mean, you do have some major arcana here with the High Priestess and with the World card, well, the moon there as well, all right? But the remainder, of, well, there's the sun. Okay, and that's a great one, by the way. All right, but the majority of the spread is about free will, okay? So if I'm warning you up front about some fallout that might come up, you can, you know, be, you could take that forewarning as forearming, right? And you decide what you want to do with that information to work to your advantage. That's why I go into so much detail on Vimeo because I'm trying to equip you with the ability to see what's ahead so that you can prepare and respond to your optimum potential. But enough of that. Let me get into this reading. Um, I do see that... <sighs> This is a month where, I, I, I should say a year, where am I going with a month? This is a year where um, you're trying to get order and stability and security in a relationship. By the way, I saw, you know, Aries show up, saw fire show up, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius throughout the spread. A lot of earth show up, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces showed up. Um, and so there could be an issue of, you know, people that you are coming together with and working with. I did see a lot of work-related issues coming up during the um, second half of this year. And I'll talk about that in a moment. But this, this could be a boss. This could be, you know, a father figure. This is definitely divine masculine energy. But I think regardless of that, this is a year, you know, with these foundational cards, a year where you're very much focused on bringing order where there's been disorder and having things stable and secure, maybe in a relationship, whether it's romantic or professional or however, you want relationships that are reciprocal. 
Each person is mutually providing safety and security in this dynamic. But in order to get this, I think that some people are leaving your life this year with all these tens. Someone's leaving your life, right? Because if they can't reciprocate, then spirit wants them removed in your life and replaced with something better. And I do see, you know, disappointment because, yeah, maybe you're like, I don't want this person cut out of my life. I don't want to leave this person behind. I wanted it to work out with this person. I wanted their promises to be true, which I completely understand. But know that whoever gets removed from your life this year for lack of lending to this energy that spirit is so much trying to infuse into your life, okay, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Even though people, some people are leaving, it's very likely to restore some order to your life and security and stability with people who are willing to reciprocate what it is that you're putting out there in terms of value. Now, I see at the beginning of this year, because this is like the first half and this is the second half, right? So in January, you come into this year, um, you or somebody is getting some kind of confidence boost, some kind of honor, acclaim, but I do see somebody on the sidelines conflicted about this and holding themselves back, maybe jealous. Um, if you're the one on the sidelines, you could be watching somebody else getting some kind of, looks like they're getting forward movement with their life, but I see some of you in a bit of, um, self-criticism about this, about somebody getting attention and maybe wanting somebody to come to you. Now it could go vice versa, right? It's a general reading. Somebody might be wanting you to come to them if they're seeing that you're getting some kind of confidence boost. Now in February, this three of earth comes up for you, which remember that came up at the foundation, same, um, card different deck so this this overarching energy of co collaboration cooperation reciprocation mutual effort is really um, coming to the forefront as early as february where you possibly get a new opportunity and might be a new job it might be a new relationship for some of you but along with this comes heavy burden i'm sorry to say and maybe you are doing some reflection on is this worth it? The new opportunity is coming with heavier burdens. Like, do you want to continue on with this or do you want to delegate? You know, you're having to reanalyze, reevaluate uh, the responsibilities. For some of you, if it is a new relationship or a new beginning, I'm a little bit concerned with you that there's some one-sided giving going on. Someone might be doing all the work. And again, you got to ask yourself, is this what you're signing up for? Now, in March, you've got five of air. So in a group dynamic, there could be some kind of conflict, a lack of agreement, a lack of meeting of the minds, an inability to come up with a win-win solution. And it might be with a soulmate a soul union where somebody is looking to get some type of expansion. Now, if this is on the work front, I, I'm concerned that you might think that you have a connection with this person, but you, you might need to look elsewhere. And that's going to develop later on as we get into this year. Okay. But with the moon card, something is not being seen clearly in May. Um, might have to do with the Pisces and disappointments, okay? Having to do with an old wound, a relationship that broke up. Maybe having to do with um, getting stability, happiness, harmony in a home family dynamic for some of you. Um, I am also seeing that somebody is having trouble letting go of the past. And I feel like part of the confusion here is about needing to discern wants versus needs. I feel like somebody wants something from their past, somebody from their past, and they're having trouble embracing new opportunities for new love. 
because they want, they want, they want, but I got this intuitive message like, what if this person, this is gonna sound harsh, what if they don't want you? What if they don't love you? What if you know this is not what you need, right? And I think it's a tough pill to swallow for some of you where, because um, you might think this is a soulmate or a twin flame or something like that, okay? Um, but you need to get really clear because if, if this person doesn't love you, then you're not loving you to keep chasing after them. Again, it goes back to reciprocation. Yes, you might love them, but if they're not loving you back, that's not self-loving, Gemini. You gotta release yourself from this. Um, now in March, I see wonderful blessing coming in, truth, healing, clarity, maybe having to do with um, this energy where there's been um, an imbalance with work and family commitments. I do wanna warn you though, um, it might be that you're dealing with um, an earth sign during this month, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you know another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Somebody's like gone cold in this dynamic. And um, I get a lot of messages about that on Vimeo, but basically the only way to thaw this person out is to, to give to them generously on a material and emotional level. And yet I see some kind of unhealthy dynamic here going on with money, safety, and security. And so you could be kind of doing a little bit of investigation during this month, talking, mentally curious, checking into something to get more clarity and maybe healing. I'm taking a very um, almost inquisitive approach to people, like in the way that you're talking. I got a lot of messages about uh, during this three month time frame because there's Page of Air right there as well. This energy of changing the conversation style to become more, um, I'm hearing inclusive now, but what I heard on the Vimeo is encapsulate, where you're, it's an odd word. I looked it up. It's basically meaning that you are expressing the essential truths of something in a very succinct way. But in order to do that, you've got to really listen to this, this other person and you've got to understand them and inquire more. Why do they see things the way they do? Well, why are they resisting what you're saying? What would it mean if they allowed what you are saying? You know, that type of thing to really get to know a person better. And it might go back to this issue here where you didn't quite see this person clearly, like based on their worldview, perspective, whatever, their beliefs, they're not who they seem. Um, you know, maybe you fell in love with who you thought they were versus who they really are. And upon further investigation and into the truth of their character and their, you know, their being, you realize, you know, that this is, um, I'm hearing a tough cookie to crack. <laughs> um, so anyway, a lot of messages on Vimeo about that. Um, some of you might be a contract coming in for employment during this month of May. I do see you working hard and persevering, but maybe reevaluating the level of work you want to put into a career or a family legacy a generational issue and a lot of communications and progress and forward movement during this particular month, which is all very positive. And then by the time we get into July with a page of air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, like I said, still that mentally curious energy where possibly during these three months, you've got some contract of employment coming in and um, communicating a lot, thinking a lot about how to draw near to someone where there might have been emotional or physical distance between the two of you and even separation. I can see during this month an issue of separation because of somebody being afraid of losing themselves in a relationship and having divided loyalties. And I can't even see even in the previous month that somebody was very much focused on themselves and that might have gotten communicated like, nope, I'm gonna work on me and my self-love and my career and my family and money. And you know that might've been that cold energy that you were 
trying to heal from earlier in May. So beware because I think that this situation here could evolve into somebody getting put out by um, August because of illusions and diversionary tactics and some wishful thinking where something just doesn't, somebody doesn't live up to, you know, the hope and potential. Somebody's not giving to a situation. So I can see somebody maybe getting put out of the house. Or if this was a new love, um, this person turns out to not be faithful or they turn out to not be this person you had idealized again back to this, okay? And I'm warning you, I'm going to warn you in this first quarter of the year, okay? Be very clear with yourself, discerning hopes versus wishes, because if you over idealize somebody, I can see this thing ending in a nasty way by the second quarter. And I'm also seeing that if you just sweep problems under the rug and think that by ignoring them, they're going to go away, I can see them rearing their ugly head by June. And it could be an issue of somebody who, like I said, is, is, is about their self-love and they're not prioritizing you. And, and it might go both ways. There might be some mirroring here for some of you, not all of you. But maybe they're like, oh, you're going to be all about you? Okay, well, I'm going to be all about me too. And that's why, you know, again, there's this lesson this year about equal give and take. Because I see some one-sided giving all throughout, even as early as June. I'm, I'm sorry, um, February. I don't know why I said June. Anyway, um, getting into... Sept September, I, I see with the High Priestess that there's um, maybe some secrecy holding back. This can be the singles card. And so if you're not single during this time, you could be having a secret relationship, a clandestine relationship where you haven't really gone public with it. You haven't told your friends and family. It might involve a an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I am seeing another storyline here, though, okay? Um, well, let me also say real quick that if you are partnered during this time, the two of you might just be living different lives, okay? But I'm also seeing another storyline here in this month of September that you're dealing with a hidden rivalry, a hidden enemy in the workplace. Okay, I saw that with the astrology. I see it with the cards. Pay attention to your intuition during this month. Pay very close attention in what you're committing yourself to. Um, take care of, make sure you're looking out for your health and your finances. Um, but if somebody doesn't seem to be looking out for your health and well-being, your financial well-being, you need to really tune into that, okay? Because Spirit's trying to show you something intuitively to discern what's going on here. And by October, if you don't already know in September who this person is, I think in October, you're definitely going to know. And somebody could be holding back um, a lack or loss going on involving a stalemate. Um, with you trying to get partnership with somebody. And again, it might have a romantic connotation where I'm going to say if this is a love situation where, you know, this was a breakup and a fallout and maybe you're working on things like living separate lives, working on things in secret um, with this commitment. The only way you're going to overcome this is by uh, making sure that both parties are very clear on their commitments, okay? And that they keep their commitments because what I'm seeing here is somebody by October is not in the, on the romantic front, not keeping their promises, not promising the right things for the right reasons in terms of plans for partnership 
But if this is a workplace dynamic or there's a hidden rivalry, I think by October, you're going to know absolutely clearly who it is because they're not giving you something you want. There's a stalemate. You might have asked them for a raise or a promotion and they gave it to somebody else or they just didn't say anything. They stonewalled you. And I'm going to tell you, I got an intuitive message on Vimeo. What, don't pay attention to what they're saying. Pay attention to what they're not saying. Okay? Because the silence is speaking volumes and telling you that there is some kind, that there, there's some, hmm, you might need to look at another alternative rather than working with this person. I'm just going to put it out there. Now, the best month of the year is November. And thank God, because that was rough, right? With the King of Water, it might involve a water sign cancer scorpio pisces but let me say you had three kings show up which is showing an influential man is coming into your life this year and so um, might be an aries as well showing up but i do see um a, a more of a maternal energy where you're getting growth and expansion having to do with your career and your family legacy and some of you might be getting help from a mother or a father figure, um, mostly seeing a mother, it's a family member. If it's not a family member, it's a friend who is like family to you. Um, I'm also seeing that for some of you, there's a sexual invitation being made and it's going to be a great month if you are still single by this time or if you are single by this time, a great time for you to get a new relationship. And it would involve somebody who is really an ideal partner and you can really put lay down some roots with them. And finally, in December, you've got the world card, which is bringing um, something to closure, I think having to do with a lesson needing to be learned about communicating emotions and overcoming emotional distance, jealousy, maybe by way of a, an apology coming from you or to you having to do with somebody who was unclear about things, you know, and needed to break free of some mental challenges on, on how to overcome uh, some reality checks, okay? And I, I go in a lot more detail on Vimeo for those of you who are interested. Definitely drew some cards, some oracle advice to show what doors of opportunity are opening up for you and the support, angelic support that Spirit is giving you this year. And I think definitely based on just a little bit of a spoiler alert, I think you're going to have a lot of gatherings with friends this year, and that's going to help smooth out any rough edges from this year. It's going to help bring you closer to people who are like-minded and um, bring you comfort and happiness as you're going through um, these endings that are making way for a new beginning because this is the good news about all the 10s and the 21 is that what's next? Well, new beginning, all right? So I'm wishing you the best, and I think that you are going to come out of this year a lot more rock solid than you entered in, okay? And in union with people who are reciprocating. So wishing you all the best. Have a wonderful 2020, and if you want to know more about it, make sure to click the link down below to um, watch it on Vimeo. Till next time, be blessed.